Hello and welcome everyone to the LHC Framework Series. My name is Bobby Singh and I'm the Client Support Officer for London. For those of you who have not tuned in on our previous episodes of this Framework Series, we at LHC are running weekly webinars where each member of the team will be presenting a summary of each of our frameworks. Last week, Ethan James talked about our Schools and Community Buildings Framework and today I will be introducing our Aluminium Windows and Doors Framework. This presentation will last about 10 to 15 minutes and will provide you with high level information on the structure of the framework. So feel free to contact our client support staff whose contact details will be shown at the end of the presentation. So just as a quick introduction then, the aluminium windows and doors framework was developed to allow our clients to have direct access to specialist aluminium windows and doors manufacturers for a full turnkey solution of a typical windows and doors program to provide an efficient value for money procurement route for the delivery of aluminium windows and doors of public sector housing and non-housing buildings. The tender was carried out in strict accordance with the EU procurement directive and UK public sector procurement rules. The framework recently went live and has been running since 1st of June 2020 and will run for four years and expire on 31st of May 2024. With regards to user eligibility, the framework can be accessed by any publicly funded organisation across the UK. Typically, organisations that access this framework are local authorities, health authorities, schools, universities, blue light services and central government. The list shown on the screen isn't a definitive list, so if you are unsure as an organisation on whether or not your organisation qualifies to access eligibility services, then please do ask. Next, we will be discussing the structure of the aluminium windows and doors framework. LHC's framework for aluminium windows and doors is suitable for low, medium, and high-rise social housing schemes, schools, community buildings, and other public sector buildings. Types of aluminium windows and doors include fixed lights, side and top-hung projecting casement, tilt before turn, top hung fully reversible, horizontal pivot, vertical and horizontal sliding sash, single leaf residential doors, inward or outward opening, heavy duty commercial doors, patio doors, French doors, curtain, window and screen walling. The services and work offered include assisting client developing a brief, carrying out surveys, technical design advice, production of design drawings for planning and approval, provision of samples, residence choice exercises, full installation service to BS guidelines, provision of guarantees, warranties, and after-sales service KPI development. We will now give you a snapshot of manufacturers on this framework. These are the specialist aluminium windows and doors manufacturers that are on the framework. Should you require information about the scores of each of the manufacturers on the framework for price, quality, or value for money, then please do get in touch. Call off options. There are two options for awarding project contracts under the Framework Alliance contract. These are direct awards and mini competition. When choosing either the competitive award procedure or direct award procedure, the LHC client may award a project to any appointed company on the lot based on criteria or weightings set out by LHC in the framework brief or criteria or weightings relevant to the project set out by the LHC client, subject to ensuring that any action taken is transparent, non-discriminatory and fair. Should a client wish to go down the mini competition route, then the client must include all of the appointed companies on the specific regional lot that they wish to access. However, client can exclude an appointed company from expression of interest stage with a reasonable justification in accordance to the public procurement regulations 2015. A direct award can be based on a particular appointed company being on top on either price, quality or value for money or a combination of the three. Other justifications for direct award are set out in the FAC1 Framework Alliance contract document and to access the FAC1 document, please feel free to get in touch with our London and the Southeast team. We have also created a guide for clients which demonstrates step-by-step -step process of our client's journey 
throughout the life cycle of their project and what to expect when accessing LAC frameworks. If you'd like a copy of this document, again, please do let me know. We will now look at our frameworks in action, where I will highlight some of the reasons as to why you, as our client, should be accessing LHC frameworks. We recognize that our clients have strict deadlines with their construction and refurbishment projects to be delivered by a specific time period. And with that in mind, our fully OGU compliant frameworks allow our clients to skip through the extensive OGU tender and hence saving them a minimum of 90 days worth of procurement process. Choosing either mini tender or direct award route enables selection of a supplier on a specific project a lot quicker as there are less tenders to review and evaluate in comparison to an open tender. Companies on our framework have gone through a rigorous pre-qualification questionnaire stage and we set high quality criteria to ensure we select companies that can offer our clients high quality products and services. As market leaders, we are able to support you by providing advice on latest design and regulatory guidance. We can also pull in the appointed companies to help with this service level guarantee. Through the LHC FAC1, all companies on our framework are required to maintain a minimum service level agreement during their appointment on the framework and projects they are appointed to. Ultimately, the particular client dictates their services required but you can fall back on hours if they are not performing. We have asked companies to submit their maximum agreed rates that are already competitive against market rates. And these prices can then be further competitive at an individual call-off stage as they are further reduced. What LHC can offer to its clients? Knowledge and experience of procurement. We have a wealth of knowledge and experience at LHC backed up from our centralized internal team who set up and manage all of our framework agreements. Each member of our central technical and procurement team has a specialism in construction, sitting on various standard boards and are therefore fully aware of any new standards of practices in the field. You are able to consult with them as your own resource when it comes to tender documentation, including specifications and pricing documents. We offer ongoing project support, as mentioned earlier. It is important to LHC and our commitment to better buildings and homes. We recognize that it is important for clients to have LHC presence at not just procurement stage, but also throughout the entire life cycle of the project. Therefore, we have dedicated support staff that are able to work closely with you from the start of the procurement to the end of the project. There are also financial gains through tendering our frameworks, as well as through our membership schemes. As a not-for-profit organization, we provide our members with an annual rebate based on their spend through our frameworks within a financial year. There are two levels of membership, constituent membership and associate membership, and both have unique terms and conditions. As an even further commitment to enhancing the community, LHC work closely with our client to channel the rebate into local benefit funds, whether to charities or socially orientated businesses. Last year, we worked with a number of companies to help disadvantaged youths, as well as helping local communities food poverty needs. To keep up to date with these, please follow our social media channels. Contact details. Lastly, I hope you found this episode of our framework series for aluminium windows and doors useful. Also, we will be continuing to run these framework series for the foreseeable future, so we'd love to receive feedback on our framework series. We would also be happy to answer your questions, so encourage you to get in touch with myself or our regional contact. Jennifer is the regional manager for London and the Southeast. I work in the London region. My colleague Ethan James is the Senior Client Support Manager for Southeast. And we have also recently appointed Ian Davis as our Client Support Manager for the Southeast area, whilst Timothy Lee Davis supports both regions as our Technical Support Manager. Lastly, thank you for your time for tuning in to this week's episode of LAC Framework Series and stay safe.